Hello everybody, if you miss any of these weapons, the Saturi or the Saturi Katana or the Kongo Power Pistol, you can get them even if you miss them. So I'm going to show you how, and it's quite simple. Other people out there explaining it, but I'm going to explain a very easy way to do it. Uh, some actually use the Katana to climb the building, I actually use it just to enter inside because I just wanted to have fun and uh, pick other things that I even picked up. Uh, basically what you need to do is add on to this location all right now you see that it's open why it's open well uh because i made it open uh, basically you need to go to this particular location now i recommend getting to california and cartwright this is a fast travel point and from that you go to the west side of the building as you can see here all right now once you are there uh, and you find this location, yeah, the main door, is going to be locked for you, by the way. So it won't be open like it's mine here. Uh, invite your car, press V, right? Like, locate, I recommend being located here so the car will actually... Uh, now this is actually work, but because the car was already in this location. But if you do it here, they're going to come from this location. Alright? So you're going to invite your car and... Um, what you need to do is get inside and position it not too close but still close enough to the gate. I'm going to show you exactly uh, when I did it but I'm going to explain right now. You need to position it. Again, it will be close for you. In a moment I'm going to show you. Something about, you know, like this. That's just a bit closer. Uh, now let's jump to the moment that I actually did it. And the idea is that either you're gonna spawn inside or the, actually the door will open, what happened for me. So let's do it. Uh, so we're actually getting the car and you can actually see where I positioned mine. The, the way I positioned mine uh, actually made the door just open. It was pretty, I was pretty shocked. I thought it was just gonna spawn. And if you do it wrong, uh, you're just gonna get outside, uh, you know, the car, but from the right side, not from the left side. So you can see me positioning myself, leaving you no know, room, and then I get out. This doesn't work. It was a, a bit too far, so I just needed to adjust it a bit, just a bit. Still doesn't work. We're gonna try again. You can see from the top view. I'm fine adjusting this, so it will work. Yep, and it's open. Ha! So that worked perfectly. Now, once inside, you need to go to the elevator. and need to get, you need to get to the roof, right? So basically, we need to go up. And remember this mission with Jackie. Uh, we just need to do the reverse mode, just going back to the top again. And you know, there's a shaft there. When we actually fold, uh, fall down, uh, we need just to climb this one up. And it's very easy, by the way. I'm going to show you. By the way, make sure you have uh, double jump equip. I uh, recommend this uh, for the jumping. All right. All right. I'm getting some stuff that I haven't gotten before, which is nice. I mean, on the way. And here I'm just actually searching. This is actually locked. And it's a bit confusing, but I mean, I don't remember from the mission. If you remember, you can just continue and going uh, you know, in the same way. But again, we're just walking back in reverse. There could be some enemies, but again, uh, they were low level enemies, so it won't be hard for you even to take him out right now. Probably you're already higher level. Uh, so it will be very, very easy. It's actually fun having some enemies. Come on. It's going to be boring without this. Now I'm going to show it to you even with my missed turns because I wanted to see actually, you know, uh, where to go. Uh, instead of just cutting this out and telling you, you know, just go up. I wanted to see actually the location where I'm going. Although I probably did it pretty bad here. But again, eventually we'll get there. If you want, you can actually skip it. But if you know already where to go, and just go to the area of the shaft. Uh, just a bit later down the video.
I would to be honest, I didn't mind. I had some chance to pick up something that I haven't picked up. Let's see when we're gonna get there. Now you remember this place? Where you kind of sneaked when the two enemies came? So this is the location we need to go. So this is the right place. Now we open here. Your time's up. And we see many enemies, but then you're, I'm in the right direction. I know it's funny, but if you just forgot. So here, remember, we can sneak and eliminate the enemies when you just go forward. Soon, soon. Again, if you already know it, you can just continue doing it very, very fast. I'm just confused. Here we're gonna go up. Alright, so this is the shaft. Uh, if you reach this room, you're in the right location. It's kind of reddish. Uh, and here we need to just um, uh, jump in order to get up. You can see there's a kind of a, a place where you can actually uh, jump and just grab this thing. Then you go here. It's very simple. You can clearly see it. There's no other options. You need to jump again to the top. Yeah, I was a bit confused here, but again, you can clearly see the jump is yeah, this location. And then I found myself here. Nice, very good. Now, uh, here you need to, you know, uh, you need to jump here. And again, double jump because it's very, very, very easy. And then jump again. This is the area where you actually fell down, remember? From the top, you fell down on this one and then to the shaft. Here we're going to go right, jump on this ledge. Yeah, we need to just hold this one. And remember this one where we walk with Jackie? So this is it. This is the room. Here we're going to take the first pistol. And it's going to be uh, near the bed. So this is the first one. So if you forgot to take it, uh, well, now we can take it. In the second one, I didn't even pay attention. I just watched everything. <laughs> uh, so you can see I'm grabbing this one. Now I'm just searching to see whether I miss a few things. And there are a few things you can pick up, but they were here for the gun. The other thing that you need to do, of course, is to get to the roof, because the katana is there waiting for us. And to get a katana, you need to go to the stairs and go up. And then you're going to find yourself on the roof, and the katana will be, will be there for you to pick it up. So easy, right? Huh. Uh, it's kind of nice when you have the options to actually get things but again, it's a very glitchy way to do it. I mean, it's nice that we have a glitch here because uh, some people are very upset and I, I can definitely agree with them. There's some weapons that are, for example, this katana is not to be the best. Uh, so if you miss it, you're probably gonna tell yourself what I need to do now, I do everything from the beginning. We just slow the save many hours ago. So definitely can feel you on that. It can be very, very frustrating. Although I personally play what I have, if I miss, I can only do this uh, on the second one. Although I don't want to see it and just see guides all the time, just play. I want a kind of smooth gameplay, so I'm not really actually stopping. But here we actually have the option to take these both items in case you miss it. And this is the katana. Now there are people who actually jump from the roofs, but see, I'm in combat mode, so I don't know in case I die, where I actually gonna spawn. And you know, I can't just save here because I can't save in combat mode. Uh, so the thing is that uh, I decided not to jump and not to ruin everything here uh, just to get back and it's very easy you know all you need to do is just back race everything uh, and maybe it's probably easier just to jump there uh, you know to the river but again I didn't want to risk it I just want to do it once don't want to spend time on this it's already glitchy and I, to be honest I'm not enjoying glitching that much but I wanted to take it because I wanted to try it with this katana and read about it as you can see I can save here so there's no point, just uh, just went there. Uh, just backtrace everything. Uh, and you can, you're gonna be lost maybe sometimes, but again, eventually you'll find yourself out. Now it's important to note, and this is probably very important. For me, the door opened. So if the door is not open for you, uh, you probably will need to just uh, uh, you know, jump to uh, the river and uh, you know, try to do that. 
uh, I didn't, right? For me, the door opened, and you know, it's just when I got there, I just went out, you know, through the door, and that's it. Uh, so again, uh, I haven't spent time on this on the jumping thing. I didn't want to lose it, so I'm showing you kind of a safe way to do it in case the door is open. Because uh, if it's not open, I don't think you, know, you you won't be able probably to get out. But this is the method that I use, and I want kind of a, you know a safe way to do this very easy way without because i tried by the way with the soul with the katana it didn't work right for me so this is what led me to do this and this actually worked nice so oh this one will work for you uh if it does enjoy your new weapons and there are other ways to do this and you can find it on youtube again i didn't do this this is the way i did it hopefully this one will work for you well uh and that's it uh hope you enjoyed this video and find this one useful again if you have any tips recommendation let me know i know i'm not an expert in glitching stuff <laughs> Uh, but again, uh, I wanted to get this katana because I read about it and then I, know, I knew that I haven't got it. So I wanted to get it and then I found out about this, you know, this uh, glitch thing and I wanted, uh, decided to do it. So this is it. Thanks for watching everyone. i see you very soon in the next video. Consider subscribing to my channel. Give this one a like. i see you very, very soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.